Charles E's, Charles E's, everything you need to know, when you need to know it, man. Takashi just went live on his Instagram, dropped a brand new song called Gooba, same formula, same style, hardcore beat, same shit. Then he went on Instagram. Talking about why he did what he did. Man, crazy. He said, hey, niggas ain't loyal to me, so why should I be loyal to them? He said it all boils down to that. He apologized to his fans for, I guess, snitching. But he said, hey, I moved these niggas out the hood, took care of their families. When I met them, they were sleeping on the floor and shit. He said, where's the loyalty? He said, these niggas robbed me, kidnapped me, beat me up, slept with baby moms, all this shit. Where's the loyalty? He said, loyalty is a two-way street, man. Do y'all hold Takashi 6 9 to, to this street code, street ethic, no snitching? Was he really a street nigga or was he just a pedestrian? Posing to be a street nigga to get in. Did he use them like the nine trade bloods used him as a bag, seen the bag, got with him, did what they had to do, got greedy. Yeah, you know I mean, tried to get more. Did he use them for their image, for protection, for the image to propel his career both? Did they use each other, man? Was he wrong in snitching? If he was a street nigga and lived by that code, he was wrong. Lately, I've been hearing that the, the, the streets is a myth, man. Are we seeing, if the people accept him back and support him, are we seeing the falling of the street code snitch? Niggas been snitching. Let's, let's keep it a buck, you feel me? Niggas been snitching. But are we seeing the, follow, the falling of this this myth about snitching, man. Let me know in my comments. Was his fan base even the fan base who really care about snitching? Was they just people behind the computer? Not really street niggas. People behind the computer where that shit don't even concern them anyway. They just want to hear the good music and do their drugs to it. You feel me? Let me know. I need y'all to get in my comments. I need y'all to subscribe. Let me know. Did he snitch because niggas slept with his baby moms? Oh, my God. A lot of niggas get emotional when it comes to them baby moms. Nikki Barnes. A lot, not just him. A lot of niggas get emotional, period. Fly off the edge. Don't mess with a nigga's money, food, and they women. A lot of niggas get emotional. They can, they can stand up to anything else. As soon as you get to tapping baby moms, <laughs> All bets is off. <laughs> All bets is off, but I need y'all to get in my comments. Let me know, man. He he said the king of New York has returned. He said that I, I believe it was Lord TJ or one of them niggas in the Bronx. He said, he said, sit down. He said, nigga, if you ain't got one of these motherfucking Richard of Millies. Big boy, he said, sit down. He said, the king of New York, man. New York, where y'all at, man? Y'all going to hold this L? What y'all going to do? Last week, Lil Boosie came out and said, Hey, if New York don't do something, then they, they, they women, private parts, they coochie. You feel me? Is New York going to hold this L? I mean, what's going on? What's really going on? Let me know, man. We just want to propel this conversation forward. We need to get to the bottom of this, man. We need to get to the bottom of this. Get in my comments. Talk to me. Let me know. I mean, oh, man, is artists still going to work with Takashi? I mean, these artists, hey, they if they just musicians or they just rappers, hey, and they ain't no street motherfuckers, hey, they might feel that they got the green light to work with him. You feel me? Radio stations might feel they got the green light to work with them. They ain't in the streets. They radio personalities. 
They going to interview him? Let me know. We got to get to the bottom of this, man. Subscribe, share, like. This is Charles Eves, man. Charles Eves, everything you need to know when you need to know it.